Addressing thousands of his supporters in Caracas, opposition leader Juan Guaidó said these latest protests represent the first steps toward what he's calling Operation Freedom. No Protesters say they want to send a strong signal to the Venezuelan government that they are not going to tolerate power cuts or water, food and medical shortages for much longer. We want Mr. Maduro to step down because we have reached a very humiliating situation. We are slaves. We need to stay in the streets to show our anger and discomfort with Venezuela's crisis. We're being humiliated by the government. It seems our voices are not heard, but they will be. This weekend's rival protests will lead to more nationwide protests next Wednesday. Guaido wants to double the number of people out in the streets. He's threatening not to stop until President Nicolás Maduro steps down. The Venezuelan government also called on its supporters to take to the streets Saturday to defend Venezuela's democracy. We are here to defend our homeland from any type of international aggression, to show we're an independent country and that we'll continue supporting the only constitutional president of Venezuela, Nicolas Maduro. We continue to show Venezuela is a country of brave people like us who will forever support the government despite all we're going through. Yo lo denuncio. The Venezuelan government has accused Guaido of inciting violence and leading a coup with the help of the U.S. A month of nationwide blackouts has resulted in power rationing by the Venezuelan government. Just three states, including Caracas, will be exempt from the three hours of daily rationing, which the rest of the country is being subjected to. Next week, members of the European Union Parliament and the Security Council from the United Nations will hold meetings to discuss the situation in Venezuela. The Venezuelan government said it's prepared to defend the country. Juan Carlos Lamas, CGT in Caracas.